So I went back and forth on trying to figure out how to accurately cut these triangles for this backgammon board. And I had this idea to get the triangle pieces cut out on a CNC machine. I sent a quarter inch piece of aluminum to Dave Gatton and he cut out the triangles for me. I used those triangles to cut the veneer pieces with the X-Acto knife and this method actually worked out fantastic. The triangles were near perfect and the only thing I had to do was to joint the edges and tape them together. And, and you'll see that here in a few minutes. I did this in my living room at the computer desk because it was cold out at the time. So I just set up a cutting board. I put the uh, aluminum triangle on the veneer and I used the exacto knife to trace out around that aluminum triangle. I clamped around, I clamped the aluminum triangle down to the veneer and that way it didn't move. And I just started with uh, making the cross cut right at the point and then I just scored down the edge of each side of the triangle. I didn't break loose the veneer until it was completely released and then I just repeated the process with the other three woods. This is sped up, but I wanted to slow it down a little bit just to explain what I'm doing here. I'm using the, uh, this little sanding block to joint each edge of the triangles. And once I got each edge jointed, I laid it down, back down on the cutting board, and taped the joint together. I'm going to speed up this whole process and do one half of one panel, just to show you the process. So after I got four of these triangle uh, pieces cut out and put together, I uh, jointed all the edges uh, where it's going to meet up into the center. Now I knew I needed a transition piece from the triangle section to the center section and that's what I'm getting ready to create now. The quarter inch piece of mahogany veneer and I'm using that for a transition piece between the center section and the triangle section. So I'm cutting off a quarter inch piece. I'm jointing the edges just like I did before. That will go in between the center section and the triangular section. Now the center section, I needed to joint those edges and tape those together. And once I did that, I jointed the long edges together. And then after that, I was able to actually assemble one whole panel of this veneer. So this is the layout. You got one triangular section, you got a quarter inch piece of mahogany, then you got the center section, another quarter inch piece of mahogany, and then another triangular section. And that's the layout of the board. Now the joint on that center section I lined up with the middle of the uh, board itself and then uh, I taped it all together and squared everything off. Before I put the final tape on I did joint the center section with that quarter inch piece of mahogany. 
That way the joint can be as tight as I can possibly get it and it'll, overall it'll make it look better. And of course I did that on both sides. Now here I had to uh, kind of square up one edge just to make sure everything was aligned. I wanted the points lined up with each other and then I also wanted opposite points on each edge. So you see on one side I got mahogany, on the other side I got walnut and vice versa. There you go, one panel done. All I have to do now is repeat that entire process on the second panel. So now to the back side of the board. I'm just going to put uh, walnut veneer on the back side. And in case if I didn't mention it, I am sandwiching the walnut veneer and the game board on a quarter inch piece of MDF. Now what I've found is MDF, quarter inch MDF is actually kind of hard to find. Uh, the only place I did find it was at Home Depot and they only sold it in uh, two by four. So you had to buy a two foot by four foot section, which is fine. It's just that was the only place I was able to actually find this. So with the walnut, I jointed the edges and I taped them just like I did everything else. And then uh, I was ready to go to start the glue up. You happen to see the second round of glue up right here. The first batch I mixed up, I read the instructions wrong and I mixed up an entire cup of glue and that was just way too much glue. So definitely read the instructions on this. This is called plastic resin glue. And uh, this was recommended to me by uh, Guy Dunlap that does a lot of veneer work. So uh, this is the first time I've ever used it and it seemed to work out pretty good. So I applied the glue with the little uh, glue roller, uh, put the veneer down and then uh, turn the whole piece over and put uh, more glue resin down and then put the game board on top of that. So once I got the veneer and the game board attached to the MDF, I sandwiched that in between two three quarter inch pieces of plywood and they are just wrapped with uh, a trash bag because I didn't have any wax paper. And then the first section, I just put a lot of weight on it until I could uh, get the second section uh, completed. And then once I get the second section completed, I'll just stack both of them on top of each other and put a lot of clamps on it. This is nearly every clamp I own. But I wanted really good pressure, especially on the edges. You have no idea how nervous I am about opening this. I've just taken off the clamps and before I even open this <laughs> uh, the clamp up was just nerve-wracking as hell because never done veneer before and I really didn't even know if this glue would work. It, I, I went into this not knowing a lot of stuff so <laughs> You have no idea how nerve-wracking this is. Hey. Appears to have a really good bond. Appears to have no air bubbles. Get one piece of tape off here and see. Too bad, I don't think. I think we can live with it. Let's try it. Uh, this 
this side didn't hurt. You can get a very good bond over here. See it's loose. But I think I'm okay because the walnut side is oversized. At least just by feeling where I need to cut off is is bonded. So I might be okay. So hopefully let's Hopefully, let's try this one. This don't look too bad either. Got a little glue bleeding right through the seems hopefully uh, a little bit of sanding will take care of that I don't know you get a good bond everywhere else Let's see on this side this is good all the way to the edge This one's better. All right. Oh, nerve-wracking stage over. Now that all the nerve-wracking part of this project is done, all I really need to do now is just kind of size the panel and square everything up so I can have two identical panels for the game boards. So that's what I'm doing here with the crosscut. I'm uh, Cross cutting the edges first and getting those kind of square or at least pretty close to square. And then I'm going to do the uh, long side of one edge with the cross cut sled. And also, uh, when I'm done with that, I don't think I recorded it, I ran it through the table saw up against the fence to you know even them out and make them the same width. And now I'm stacked both boards together. And I'm cutting them at the exact same time. That way they're both identical sizes and they're ready to go for the next step of this project. So for my first veneer work ever done, I think these joints turned out fantastic. And I was really concerned about those points right there. And I, I couldn't be more happy with those points. They... The whole thing turned out fabulous, and especially being the first time ever doing any type of veneer work, it has actually turned out really good, and I'm especially pleased with those points right there. Um, they just, I, I nailed it. That's the easiest way I can say it. All right, I think the video is going to get too long at this point, so I'm going to cut it off here. Um, I got both of the game boards done. Uh, what's left to do is a chip holder on this side and, of course, the box itself. Uh, I got a pretty good idea how I'm going to do all that stuff. I just have to execute it. And I put a little bit of mineral spirits on here just to see what the natural finish would look like and I think that's the finish that I'm going to go with is some sort of natural uh, finish or, or clear coat or something like that. Um, I really like the look of that. The color contrast between the three woods is uh, really looking good and I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, so I'm going to cut the video off here and take a little break from this and I will see you on the next one.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.